Hello everyone, this is ASMR Studio welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today my Photoshop tutorial topic is uh, wedding portrait photography, the Indian wedding portrait photography. That means uh, today I'll show you how to retouch the face of the bride and uh, how to edit a uh, Indian type uh, wedding portrait. So let's start the tutorial. Before I start my tutorial, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I'm going to the file and open up NEF. That means the Nikon image format. So raw format, you can just tell this one. And the photo credit goes to Omit Kumar. Um, he is a great photographer in Dhaka city. So if you want to contact with him, please check out my video description so I'm just opening up this image and um, I do want to give thanks Omit to give this photo for editing and let's start the tutorial okay uh, for the uh, NEF file this one um, it's just open up in the camera filter at first and then open image just press this one open image so you'll get the image in your that means the editing panel over here and here i'll copy this image or layer by pressing ctrl j you can drag it and drop in these new layer options after that at first i'll do retouch the face you know uh, here is a light and like a just not properly smooth face and the eye color as well and the color tone raw image that's why it just it's look like that so at first i'll go to the filter and the photo toolbox skin finer uh, the previous tutorial was about the skin finer so if you want to know about skin finer please check out my video description i just made the tutorial which is uh, how to set up the skin finer in your photoshop and how to operate this one basic uh, all the things so check out for the skin finer detail here at first i will smooth the skin and just uh, correction the color of the face and then i'll go to the effect options so this one is two segment of this tutorial okay at first uh, here is sub panel uh, skin detailer and the skin tone so i'll work with these two things skin detail at first i'll work with the skin detail and then skin tone so I'm just zooming it out here uh, in this photo you're getting some light and shadow and uh, some just uh, rough type face but I want to just bright like um, properly and this one is Indian portrait you know that the traditional dresses and the ornaments uh, which is uh, just belongs to the Indian subcontinent and the culture as well I do proud for that okay and here the amount of sharpening that means if you want to smooth it how smooth you want to do this one so I will make it like smooth around 75 percent and fine like uh, 17 uh, 22 that's good and then the medium you can just medium you can work with it or you can not so balance is balanced properly balanced that's why i'm not touching this one the skin tone uh, here is uh, too much red that's why i'll make it like this yeah 28 and the saturation if you want to make the saturation down do like that but don't make it minus value too much just because of it will be black and white type so here is the color tones i'll select the proper color tone from here yeah that's good the brightness the brightness i'll make it down just because of it will be overexposed otherwise and shadow i'll make some shadow and here is the highlighted options so if you work with the highlight and shadow properly it could be a nice thing so contrast you can make the contrast but don't make the contrast like that yeah the balance contrast yeah that's good i have to make it more fine yeah that's good and the color that's nice and the brightness i'll up the brightness a little bit and highlight as well and the shadow a little bit yeah that's nice you are getting the before one and after one so hit the ok button and then it will take time to load it and give you the outputs 
so it's loading yeah after that let's see the before one and after one you just got the smoothie skin and after that i'll make another copy of this layer and go to the filter and camera filter i'll add effect and other color corrections everything in this panel you know uh, the camera filter is the blessing thing in photoshop and you are getting all the panels like a lightroom and you can edit your photo properly so let's start and here's the exposure uh, exposure is okay and i'll add some contrast four or five that's good and here is the temperature and tint if you make it warmy don't make it warmy it's already warmy so make it cool like minus three or four and make it plus three the tint plus three and after that highlight option i'll de-highlight this one a little bit and add some whites yeah and then the shadow i'll add some shadow yeah that's good and blacks i'll make it down that's good and then the variance i'll make it five and the saturation i'll make it three and clear it two that's good and i'll directly go to the camera calibration options i'll make it like this the primary blue color and make it like this yeah that's good and here the primary red color adjust with the red color yeah that's good the golden color now will appear just because of uh, golden ornaments you have to represent it and then the primary green yeah adjust this one that's good and then go to the curve tone but tone curve and blue options so that's good and that's fine and then the green color yeah make this green like yeah that's good that's good pearl type tone and then the finally red color and work with the red color a little bit that's good and then finally rgb options select here that means lock here and just make it like this and then sharpening amount of sharpening i'll increase and the luminance of noise reduction i'll make it like this and again effect options i'll add some vignetting that's cool and now finally the hsl panel and decrease the orange color a little bit saturation and add some yellow for the gold color and luminance of orange i'll make it like this and red color i'll make it down and saturation make it up and hue if you want to change the hue you can change it yeah i'll do like that and purple color you can work and here is the uh, blue color so luminance of blue i'll make it a little bit down and saturation i'll make it a little bit up so let's see the before one and after one a uh, little bit and subtle change yeah that's good for me and yeah after that i'll save these settings and i'll give you that settings so check out my video description for the setting download so i'm making it waiting and okay and after that hit the ok button so let's see it will take time to load and give you the outputs before one after one and now time for work with the lights so lights are coming from here that's why i'll go to the a new blank layer and then i'll add some white lights and go to the brush and make the flow and opacity 100 percent and the brush size will be like around 300 pixel and press once and press ctrl t make it bigger yeah that's cool and adjust with this so rotate this one yeah and do like that and down the opacity a little bit okay then press ctrl j and press ctrl t and replace this one here over here yeah that's good and hit the tick button yeah it's working and then go to the gradient options add the gradient like this one for this and the scale like this and the tether as well and yeah that's good and now time for work with the 
eye color so take a new blank layer go to the white options and go to the brush options and zoom in make the brush size like eyeball just select once here and once here and go to the blending mode to overlay so if you want to change the eye color you can do that so i'll do that so i'll take another blank layer and then i'll take the same color this like this and i'll yeah this orange color and hit ok and i'll down the brush size like and brush over here and in these options and then just make it overlay so make it overlay and decrease the opacity and feel like this yeah that's good that's better actually so it was like that and then you are getting this one so that's fine and then select all the things make it group and make it merge and after that go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro from the nick collection i'll add another shadow effects and everything for the shiny look google nick collection color effects pro 4 i'm using the cross processing and here you'll get lots of filter or methods you can use one of them so if you want to make it shiny you have to choose the perfect one so i think this one is good l03 and hit the ok button so you are getting the output finally like that so i want to increase the sharpness so what should i do press ctrl j and make the blending mode to vivid light and then go to the filter and the other options and high pass so don't make it like um, uh, too much the value 1 or 2 1.5 that is good and hit the ok button you'll get the change little bit change so i'm zooming in you'll get the change yeah so finally we are getting this the main image was like that and your final output is like that so hope that you enjoyed this video and it will be helpful to your wedding photography editing so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to know about the skin finer setup and uh, download process and uh, guidelines and everything please check out my video description all the things i just made in one video and i'll give that video download link in my video description and the preset download link as well you can check out my video description for the download of that preset and google link collection as well so thank you so much thanks for watching this video if you like this one please subscribe and hit the bell icon and thumbs up until the next video i am signing out today and bye bye